The following is a paid program for Passionist Communications. Welcome, everyone, to our celebration of the Sunday Mass this week, a ministry of the Passionist community. My name is Father Paul. Celebrating with us today are the seventh graders from the Immaculate Conception Catholic Academy right here in Jamaica, and some of our friends from the Immaculate Conception Parish who often join us to help us to celebrate each Sunday. It is uh, January 20th the second Sunday in Ordinary Time. So if you have your prayer guide, take it out, turn to the second Sunday in Ordinary Time, and let us begin by being a community of faith gathered and united, as always, by the sign of our faith. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And as we come together to celebrate this wonderful mystery of our faith, let us prepare our hearts by asking forgiveness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to the gift of everlasting life. Amen. Amen. And let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who govern all things both in heaven and on earth, mercifully hear the pleading of your people and bestow your peace on our times. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. For Zion's sake, I will not be silent. For Jerusalem's sake, I will not be quiet until her vindication shines forth like the dawn and her victory like a burning torch. Nations shall behold your vindication and all the kings your glory. You shall be called by a new name pronounced by the mouth of the Lord. You shall be glory, a glorious crown in the hand of the Lord, a royal diadem held by your God. No more shall people call you forsaken or your land desolate, but you shall be called my delight and your land espoused. For the Lord delights in you and makes your land his spouse. As a young man marries a virgin, your builder shall marry you. And as a bridegroom rejoices in his bride, so shall your God rejoice in you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Proclaim his marvelous deeds to all the nations. Proclaim his marvelous deeds to all the nations. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all you land. Sing to the Lord, bless his name. Proclaim his marvelous deeds to all the nations.
a reading of the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, there are different kinds of spiritual gifts, but the same Spirit. There are different forms of service, but the same Lord. There are different workings, but the same God, who produces all of them in everyone. To each individual, the manifestation of the Spirit is given for some benefit. To one is given through the Spirit the expression of wisdom. To another, the expression of knowledge according to the same Spirit. To another, faith by the same Spirit. To another, gifts of healing by the one Spirit. To another, mighty deeds. To another, prophecy. To another, discernment of spirits. To another, varieties of tongues. And to another, interpretation of tongues. But one and the same Spirit produces all of these, distributing them individually to each person as he wishes. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. There was a wedding at Cana in Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there. Jesus and his disciples were also invited to the wedding. And when the wine ran short, the mother of Jesus said to him, They have no wine. And Jesus said to her, Woman, how does your concern affect me? My hour has not yet come. But his mother said to the servers, do whatever he tells you. Now there were six stone water jars for Jewish ceremonial washings, each holding about 20 to 30 gallons. Jesus told them, fill the jars with water. So they filled them to the brim. Then he told them, draw some out now and take it to the head waiter. So they took it. And when the waiter tasted the water that had become wine, without knowing where it had come from, although the servers who had drawn the water knew, the head waiter called the bridegroom and said to him, Everyone serves good wine first. And then when people have drunk freely, an inferior wine. But you have kept the good wine until now. Jesus did this at the beginning of his signs at Cana in Galilee, and so revealed his glory, and his disciples began to believe in him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. For about the last 10 years of my mother's life, uh, she struggled with the illness of dementia. And, and towards the end of her life, uh, she was living in an assisted living home in the Alzheimer's and dementia unit of that particular place. It was fairly close to my brother's house, and he and his family were very good at taking care of my mom helping to, to meet her needs at that particular moment in her life. And one Christmas, I went home uh, to my brother's house so that I could be with my mother during Christmas. And, and the night I flew in, my brother picked me up at the airport. We went to his house, and we were in the middle of dinner when my brother received a phone call from the place where my mom was living. And they said that my mother was very upset, and could we come and help them sort of calm her down? So my brother and I got in the car and we drove to the place, which wasn't too far. And as soon as we walked in the front door, we could hear my mother. And she was yelling and she was angry and she was upset and she was crying. 
And so we came up to the door of the Alzheimer's dementia unit. My brother punched in the code so that we could go in. And as soon as we opened the door, there was my mother standing. And she turned around. She saw my brother. And she sort of gra grabbed him and, and said, thank you for coming. And my brother, who knew how to handle mom when she got like this, he said, come on out. And we took her out into this little room where there was coffee and sort of refreshments. And we sat her down, and we got her a cup of coffee and a little bowl of popcorn. And we sat there and talked to her for about an hour and a half, just trying to calm her down. Uh, and finally, she said, you know, I'm tired. And my brother said, OK. And she said, can you take me home? And my brother said, sure, we can do that. Now, she expected us to walk out the front door and get in the car and drive her to her house. Uh, but. My brother said, no, no, your house is here. She said, no, no, it's not here. And she began to get agitated again. But we finally got her to go to her room. And her room was uh, just a small little one bedroom. And it had most of her things that we had brought from her apartment when we had to move her into this place. And there were two very important things. One was a painting of my father from World War II. He was in his army uniform. He was sitting in a chair. He had it painted in a little town in France uh, when he was there. And that always was in our living room. But there was another picture always in our living room, and that was a picture, a painting of Jesus, a very famous one. And as soon as, even though my mom was agitated, she was sure that she wasn't at home, that we should take her home, as soon as she walked into that room and looked at those two pictures, she became very calm. She realized that she was home. I use that story today because when we hear that story about Jesus' changing water into wine, we often focus on the miracle. But what was more important in that story was the fact that Jesus entered into the life of people. And throughout the gospel, he's always doing that. He's always being present to people, helping them in their time of struggle. And even though my mother didn't remember many things for the last 10 years of her life, sometimes she couldn't even remember our names or who we were. When she walked into that room, when she saw that picture of Jesus, everything was okay. Uh, everything was fine. You know, as Isaiah today says in that first reading to the Israelites, you know, God is a wonderful God. Always there for us, always present. Uh, I think we're reminded uh, in a miracle way and, and, and maybe just even in an ordinary way as we come to Mass each Sunday that God is always present in our life. And if we can find that presence, if we can identify it, if we can see it, if we can feel it, everything will be all right because God will never leave us to face the struggles of life alone. Jesus responded to his mother's request for help today in our gospel. So let us reach out to him with our needs. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the gift of life from the first moment of conception to its last breath and every moment in between that will honor and respect life always. We pray to the Lord, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray in thanksgiving for the sponsor of our Mass today, Kathy Setinsek, and we remember her special intentions for this Mass, Dennis Setinsek, in a special way. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for the intentions of our benefactors, the intentions of our television parishioners that will be placed next to the altar, and for Eric Alois Kostner, for whom we pray in a special way at this Mass. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving Jesus, you did not forsake your mother's prayer. So we ask you to hear and answer our prayers this day. We offer our prayer through, our, through the intercession of Mary, the mother of Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Amen. As grains of wheat are gathered in, we come together from love. 
lives apart, we bring our hearts to make one whole. For many are we, and broken we come, but we shall be. Brothers and sisters, pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant us, O Lord, we pray that we may participate worthily in these mysteries. For wherever the memorial of the sacrifice is celebrated, the work of our redemption is accomplished through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you laid the foundations of the world and arranged the changing of times and seasons. You formed us in your own image and set us over the whole world and all its wonder to rule in your name over all that you have made and forever to praise you for your mighty works through Christ. And so with all the angels we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that you may be, they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, at the time that Jesus was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it. For This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his passion and death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Nicholas, our Bishop, and all whom you call to the ministry and service and mission of your church. Remember our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. 
through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we humbly pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but look on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, and with your spirit. spirit. And let us share that peace with one another. Peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Pour on us, O Lord, the spirit of your love, and in your kindness make those you have nourished by the one heavenly bread, one in mind and heart, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may our good and gracious God bless us this day and always, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us continue to live in the peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. I want to thank all of you for joining us today for our celebration of the Sunday Mass. And in a particular and very special way, I would like to uh, thank Kathy Satinsky, um, who is the sponsor of this Mass. And Kathy, I'm sorry I forgot to mention you at the beginning of Mass, um, but we're mentioning you now, and we mentioned you in, during the uh, prayers of the faithful. And please know that we will continue to keep you and your very special intention, Dennis Satinsky, uh, in our prayers uh, not only today, but always. I'd also like to thank the uh, seventh graders of the Immaculate Conception Catholic Academy who joined us today for our celebration, along with a number of our friends from the Immaculate Conception Parish who so very much supports us uh, during this ministry uh, of the Sunday Mass. Uh, tomorrow is uh, Martin Luther King holiday, so please have a good holiday. And, and coming up in the not-too-distant future is the March for Life, uh, so please keep the idea of life in all of its forms, in all the, the ways life is in our world. Let us pray for it, that it will be always truly honored and respected as God's gift. So until we meet again next Sunday, may you have a good week, and may the passion of Jesus Christ be always in your heart. Songs of thankfulness and praise, Jesus, Lord, to you we raise, manifested by the star to the sages from afar, branch of Proceeding was a paid program for Passionist Communications.